Uh, do you know the significance behind the altars that are really a prominent piece of the celebration? Mecca Houston curator Luis Gavito is here to share more on the Latin American tradition. Hola Luis, welcome to the show. Hola, gracias. You know, we're very excited to have you here because this is something, if you've lived in Houston, I think, for, for a while, you, you sort of, on the periphery, know about Dia de los Muertos, but you don't really know what goes on unless, you know, it's, it's something that you really kind of grew up with. So for folks that may have seen it but don't really know what it's about, kind of explain what it is. It's a day of remembrance. Uh, it's been around for about 3,000 years in Central Mexico, South Mexico, and uh, Central America. And the Aztecs themselves celebrated these uh, remembrance of their ancestors. And then for the last 500 years, of course, it's been influenced by Catholicism because then when the Europeans came, then uh, they changed the dates of the festival to the liturgical calendar. So now it, we celebrated on November the 1st and on November the 2nd. And this is so great, really, for, for all ages to really celebrate those who have gone before us and, and to honor their memory. Yeah. Um, what I think is really captivating about it is the colors and the altars and sort of the story and meaning behind it because marigolds, for example, Luis, play a very integral part in the altar. Is that right? Absolutely. Uh, they're referred to as basuchi. There's a Nahuatl word for it. Uh, and it means uh, 20 petals because the flower itself, the miracle itself has the 20 petals and the aroma and the color uh, is, it's, it's, it's placed around the cemeteries and so, so on so as to attract the dead uh, that are coming to visit. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Now, there's a significance for each day of the celebration as well, and that's a really important part of the overall uh, celebration, Louise. Kind of step us through how the day works. Yes, it, it usually starts October the 31st at midnight. And let's say if you're in the state of Oaxaca, and of course it's celebrated differently in different states of Mexico, but if you're in the state of Oaxaca, then the people go to the cemeteries and they start preparing the, uh, the tombs and everything. They clean them up, they add flowers, they bring food. So it starts with October the 31st. Then November the 1st is called El Dia de los Angelitos, the Day of the Angels. And it's dedicated to those who died when they were very, very young. And November the 2nd, actually today, All Souls Day, then it's dedicated to all those, uh, all our ancestors that, that have departed, that have gone to the other world. And the altar, let's talk about that. I know we talked about the marigolds and the days, but there's also levels uh, for the altar. Can you walk us through those? Absolutely. There is no wrong way or right way to, to make an altar, but the Mexican inspired altars usually have three levels. The top level is what we refer to as the celestial level, because we have to remember the day of the dead has to do with a belief system, uh, the spirit world. So at that level, we put the crosses, the saints, the angels, Our Lady of Guadalupe, and so on. The second level then, you put the photographs of the people that you're honoring. And the last level, the third level, then you put the foods that they enjoyed, uh, personal items, and, and things like that. Mm, just amazing, isn't it? It really is. And Luis, we appreciate your time and uh, the video and the explanation as well. Thanks for joining us today on Houston Life. Thank you for having us here. All right, well, you can find out more info on Dia de los Muertos altars on our website. And there's a lot on there as well about Absolutely. how to build your own. It's if so you're fantastic. Interested in that with the kids, yeah. I know, and I love all the colors too. Beautiful.